uh, here I am at Ebon Power Plant uh, to do an inspection and uh, also have a look at the um, facility here and also ask some questions. Will we have power in Aquibo? Okay, I'm Tony Apps, I'm the owner's engineer for this project, so I'm res my responsibility is for the technical uh, implementation of the plant and basically the policing of the contractors to ensure that they do what they're contracted to do. So okay. My side, technical, uh, and basically ensuring that the plant is built to the contract specifications. The right hand side there is what we call the balance of plant building. That's where ancillary services, uh, air compressors, water treatment plants, um, and fire systems. So they are all in that building. This building you see running longitudinal down here is what we call the control building. Right. In there is the control room. But that's only a, a very small space. The rest of it is medium voltage switch gear rooms, laboratory, and some office space. Right. So that's so the whole plant can be controlled from that uh, control room. And normally, during operation, there'll be three people looking after this plant from an okay. operations perspective. Okay. The rest of it, the rest of the stuff, will be maintenance and administration. Right. Okay. Now, everybody here, nearly everybody here is indigenous to Aquaribo. Right. Obviously, I'm not. <laughs> but the, uh, all the operators we've taken from Aquaribo, we've been through a, quite a, a difficult selection process, but a, a very rigorous selection process, whereby decided to take put all people through the same course. Right. It doesn't matter whether you've got a PhD or an OND or a school leaving certificate. Anybody who joins here starts goes through the same course. Right. Okay. So we are thus building a whole team up from scratch without any uh, influence from the uh, other utilities, PHCN saying they've been contaminated or not but we want them to work our way so we're taking young people and we're training them the way we want them okay. now tell us about the turbines show us right. the turbines yeah first turbine that was bought for the project was this unit on the left which is a GE frame 6B supplied by Essen in the Essen factory in Germany these produce about 35 megawatts, slightly 35 and a half megawatts. The second unit is again a frame 6B, slightly different. That produces about 200 more kilowatts, 200 kilowatts more. That one's supplied by China, Nanjing Company, again GE. The third unit is again a GE, GE General Electric of the United States. Uh, that is what's called a frame 9E. And that was supplied from Belfort in France. So we have German, Chinese, French, the all GE. Okay. Which which turbine are you are you going to fire? One that will run first is GT number one, which is this one here. This one is all ready to go. In fact, we've had this one running for about 12 hours already. Second one will be the, the big one, which is we just tried. We had some uh, minor works to do because there was a minor problem with the starting and starting with the starter motor and that's why the lights went out in the office because we've got it working correctly now and what did happen should have happened which was it stopped the generator yeah. right so when when will this start working this year it's already been working it's already been on for about 12 hours but it's not generated electricity because the export constraints have not been uh, finished yet by export constraints I mean the substation here the transmission line and the substation in Eket right okay but but the gas supply from Port Harcourt, that's been sorted the gas supply is all sorted the line's been finished about a year the gas supply contract was signed May this year, I think it was. Okay. So commercially, there's no reason to uh, feel that the, there's going to be a shortage of gas. So by 2000.
2009, some parts of Aquaibum will uh, start benefiting from the yeah, IPP. Correct. The first part, uh, location that will benefit will be Eckett and the areas that the substation in Eckett supplies, which will be out to Warong and uh, Apobo feeder. There's, there's, about, there's about three 33 kV feeders there that, that go out to the hinterland. megabytes of information and that's it. So this is the control room? This is central control room. We can, can, we can run each of the units individually from their own local control rooms or, or we run and we can run each individual unit from here. Um, but basically the whole plant gets run from uh, this particular part here. Uh, here I am with Tony Apps, the resident engineer uh, for the Aquabum IPP plant, and I'm going to ask him uh, a few questions. Thank you very much, Good Tony. For how are you? Us here. Yeah, Tony. Uh, let me ask you: How did the vision of the IPP plant begin, mm -hmm. and why did Victor Ata um, think that it was proper for Aquabum to Okay, the origin of the project goes back some time to me perfectly honest, it was a project, a joint venture project, uh, actually to build a refinery, okay. way back in 2002. Uh, the power plant was to be a captive power plant for a 100,000 barrel a day refinery. Uh, 